Hi everyone, welcome. This is a follow-up video to uh, one of my earlier videos that I posted uh, in YouTube uh, forecasting using Excel for data with seasonality and trend. In that video, we only covered an example with one data set only. So demand is was provided and the seasonality was in months. And then we were able to kind of provide the forecast values for this single data set. And in the comments, uh, some of you guys said that, uh, hey, uh, what if we have multiple uh, products? Like if this is going to be done for a company, they may have not just one product, but maybe multiples of stock keeping units, a lot of different products. And how do we do that? The transition is easy. So at uh, first I thought that you May, might have to uh, write a macro, but you don't need to do a macro. You could just simply put the formula in there in, and then just find your forecast values for hundreds of different SKUs uh, right away. So how do we do that? Let's just go and just take this example. I posted this data set online in my Google Sheet and the link is down below. And what we have is we have 100 stock giving units so we could have more and now we are going to uh, find the, the forecast. So let's start with the forecast for January to 2020. We are assuming that we are right now, right before January 2020, right before the nightmare uh, started about the COVID-19 and everything. But we are assuming that this 2020 was going to be an excellent year for us. You know, it is 2020. It's uh, it's just a nice number, but it didn't happen like that. Okay, anyhow, so what's going to happen now is I'm just going to put my formula first. I'm going to find the seasonality index for January using the earlier data sets. And uh, I will just use my formula here. And my formula is going to be, hey, just find the average for average if and just take this range just look at all those months and then this is the range for my criteria and if those match January then average the values in there okay so this will find the average of January in the in the data set here so for this stock keeping unit number one and then I'm gonna if I divide that by average of all of these values, okay, average of my demand from 2016 until 2019, then I will find my seasonality index for this month. Then I'm going to use the function trend. Now this is going to capture the uh the trend of this data set if there is a trend then it will capture if there's no trend the trend is going to be very minimal but that's uh, fine we will just take the trend function this will just use the uh, linear regression model in there and it records a known y's the y's are my dependent variable um, dependent variable my demand here okay and then I'm going to put a comma and my X's are the independent variables and those are the time periods. So those are the T from 1 to 48. And then the new X is the trend number, the period number 49. So once I have that, then I'm done. And what happens here is it multiplies, it finds first the value, the, the trend uh, adjusted uh, forecast here and using the trend, just the trend forecast and then it is going to adjust that by seasonality, okay? So it is going to provide me directly what my forecast is going to be for January. And if you do not understand this, I would recommend that just go ahead and I'll take a look at the earlier video that I posted, you know, I mentioned uh, at the beginning of this video. So what I have to do now is in order to copy and paste this, I have to be just using my dollar signs. And for C2, C49, these are my months. 
and I want to use those all the time there I'm just gonna put my both dollar signs in there I will not change that and for C51 this is my period I want to use period 50 51 52 but I don't want to move this column to the right so I will only put a dollar sign in front of C and for D2 D49 and I want to move those to the right but I don't want to move those to down so I will just put the dollar signs here and here D2 D49 the same thing and then the trend is the same thing D2 D49 and A2 A49 is going to stay there all together okay both dollar signs and then A51 is again it is going to go down but not to the right so dollar sign in front of A so if everything is good I could just click on it and then it is showing me my forecast value for January 2020 for this stock keeping unit so let me just see if this is working fine I could just try like copying a bit and yes it is taking for example the this data set like the stock keeping unit number three and it is using for May and May is the 53 the 53rd uh, period and then it is just calculating the forecast for that so what I could do is now I could just drag this to let's just uh, delete these and then drag this to the right okay for all stock giving units and then we could just double click and we are all set so we are able to find the forecast for uh, for 2020 for each stock keeping unit and if we have done that in in before January and hoping that the things are going to be just repeating the history we would be in big trouble that's why forecasting is always wrong but sometimes it's more wrong than uh, and other times so here this is just expecting that the history is going to repeat but sometimes it does not right that's the whole idea anyhow uh, we were kind of able to manage to find a forecast for multiple stock keeping units at the same time I want to just tell you something here in Excel it's not very easy to kind of create this uh, the whole line chart with different colors like two colors for example if I just keep stock keeping unit number one and insert a line chart let's see you know it is just showing me the two different lines let's try to see it click OK so here after this point this is my forecast before this point this is my historical values so if I try to select data it puts all the data set into a single uh, series if I try to separate them it only starts from the beginning so what you need to do is you need to put them in two different columns and then if you want to have a line chart with uh, two different colors otherwise it is not possible to kind of show it in two different colors but if you don't care about that you could just you know insert a line chart and here it is and this is the for the first stock keeping unit and then I could just move to the next one here it is and move it to the third one and move it to the fourth one and I am able to kind of find all my forecast values are shown here and all my historical values are shown there thanks for watching and if you have any questions let me know bye for now